have the Lottie Body Milk and Honey line. I purchased their leave-in and the Curl Defining Mousse from Walmart. So I'm holding right now in my hand the leave-in conditioner. It's the Nourish Me leave-in conditioner. It states that it locks in moisture, continuous intense hydration, detangles and adds shine, no mineral oil, okay? This is a good size. This is eight ounces. It comes with the pump, but the pump is a little challenging, I will say. It has a light yellow color, a light fragrance. Um, other things suggested that there's no sulfates, again, no mineral oils, preferring uh, petroleum, which is good okay again that's the leave-in conditioner next up we have the refine me curl defining mousse it states that it's for medium hold for soft curls defines curls adds body and shine no alcohol okay it has a pump much uh, much like the original um mousse by lot of body again no sulfates mineral oil uh petroleum formaldehydes paraffin none greasy no drying no damaging ingredients hey you guys i'm back with another tutorial review so this time i'm going to be reviewing a lot of bodies honey milk and honey excuse me i have their nourish leave-in conditioner and i also have the refine me curl defining mousse i purchased both of these products at walmart.com they were no change nothing but some change um i'm going to start off by wetting my hair applying the leave-in oil did a mousse i think i think that's how i'm gonna do it i've been using the leave-in off and on for a week and it's good i like it i like it i prefer the other one a little bit better but i do like this i can dig it so did i just say dig it anyway y'all so i'm gonna be using large perm rods we have these teal turquoise turquoise whatever whatever orange and yellow okay my hair is blown out my hair is old very very old so let's just go ahead and get started okay so i'm taking down this section of my hair and lightly misting my hair with water you're gonna see here in a second my hair is growing you guys can you tell yes so here is the water um just a little bit i don't want it too damp and the pump for this leave-in conditioner yeah we're gonna have to take that off yeah uh -uh. this smells this smells good very very creamy So I'm going to be using, depending on how much hair, one to two pumps to actually set my hair. And I'm rolling them, you guys. Instead of spiraling the perm rod, I'm going to roll it on my hair because I'm looking for a different type of curl, not necessarily spiral curls, okay? I did not use the um, turquoise or teal because those were too big, those um, perm rods. You know, and honestly, I've rarely used those. I think I've used those perm rods once, okay? So continuing to roll up my hair and making sure that I add tension um, when rolling the perm rod up, up, excuse me, to ensure that I get a sleek look. Um, I will say as far as the consistencies of both products, it's just like the original line. I really can't tell much of a difference. However, I feel like, especially the with the com combination of the leave-in and mousse, excuse me, I feel like this gives you softer curls as opposed to the original styler and mousse. That gives you a more defined, well I should say it gives you more hold, if that makes sense. So I am done, you guys. I used all of these perm rods, girl, all of them. Um, and the next morning, I will come back and show you guys what it looks like. <laughs> looks like with all of the rollers out excuse me the rods out 
Um, I'm going to take a little bit of oil, just a little bit to help unravel my hair and prevent frizz. Now, one thing I do want to say, I think I would have gotten sleeker results if I would have set my hair on, I don't know, like fresher hair. This hair is old, you guys. This is two weeks after my wash day. I've been a little lazy. Yeah, so anyway, I'm going ahead and taking my time to unravel. I do like these curls, and I will say, state yet again that I got bouncier, softer curls as opposed to the original um, formula by Lotta Body. Still very, very nice, very nice results. Um, and yeah, I'm going to continue to unravel, so I hope you guys enjoy this video. and the curls my hair is shiny it is soft it is fluffy so right now I'm just picking at my roots and yeah my hair is split down the middle so I'm trying to determine how I'm going to style it I'm gonna end up pushing all of my hair back to give the illusion like almost like I'm wearing a headband if that makes sense but I'm not gonna wear a headband I'm gonna take the cream of nature's perfect edges to try and lay down my edges now yeah I know I rarely do this but since I'm pushing my hair back I want it to look as clean as possible and I'm going to take about four to five three inch bobby pins along the edges of my hair again to give it an effect that to give it an effect excuse me that I'm wearing a headband <music> take a scarf to help lay those edges down. I only left it on for five or ten minutes and I'm going to continue to fluff up my hair. You can see some on the side is kind of losing some definition and yeah this is a very very pretty look. <music> So here is the final look. Very, very pretty, you guys. I got lots of compliments on this because this is a different hairstyle for me. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye.